This video is about teaching subtraction through the concept of finding the difference. So we're going to look at numbers, two digit numbers, and for this we're going to use bead strings. So on the first bead string that I've got here, I've made the number 14. I've got one set of 10 and four units. I've got 14 and I'm going to compare 14 to 32. So I'm going to find the difference between 32 and 14. So we're going to start from the smallest number and we're going to count up to the largest number. So if we start with 14, what do we need to add to 14 to get to the next 10? And we can show using the bead strings why it's helpful to go to the next 10 using our number bonds. So from 14 to get to the next 10, which is 20, I can add six. That gets me to 20. Then I'm going to add another 10 to get me to 30. And I'm going to add two to get me to 32. So the difference between 14 and 32 is six, add 10, which is 16, add two, which is 18. So the difference between 32 and 14 is 18. Let's make that digit nice and clear, 18. We can also use uh, the number line alongside this. It works really well with the linear concept that you can get from the bead string. So we're going to start our number line. Rather than starting from zero, which we don't need to do, we're going to start from our smallest number. We're going to start from 14 and we're going to count up to 32. So from 14, we're going to add six to get to 20. And now we're going to add another 10 to get to 30. And finally, we're going to add two. Now you don't necessarily have to use two bead strings to support this, but actually just use the one bead string. So we've already made 14. We want to get to 32, so we're going to add six, and that gives us 20. We're going to add another 10, and that gets us to 30. And finally, we're going to add two now we've got to 32. We can also use the Cuisinaire to represent this as well and to show why we're starting from 14. So you're able to write on Cuisinaire with the uh, with whiteboard pens which is what I've done here. So we're finding the difference between 32 and 14. So I'm going to write 14 on here. We want to find out what this piece is. So 14 and 32, we're comparing them, we're finding the difference. You can see how this would link quite well to measurements and to finding the difference on bar charts and that kind of representation of finding the difference. So comparing 14 and 32, we're starting from 14 and we're counting up to 32 and we found out that the answer is 18. And using Cuisinaire, we can show the related addition facts and the related subtraction facts. So 32, if we take away 14, it leaves us with 18. If we add 14 and 18, that gives us 32. And if we if 18 add 14 that also gives us 32.